Okay, so thank you, uh, John, for the introduction. Uh, you guys can hear me, right? Okay, cool. Um, so like, I, uh, like John uh, introduced me, I'm Vishwa, and I'm the uh, channel sales manager for Asia Pacific at WSO2. Um, you might be wondering why a channels guy is kind of doing a, doing a talk here. Um, so we are from the Sri Lanka office, um, and we had a bit of an incident over the last two days, and a lot of speakers who are planned to uh, kind of fly out to uh, Singapore had to stay back temporarily, but hopefully they'll be here tonight or early tomorrow. So I'm not a technical person, but I'm going to talk to you a few things about uh, WSO2 now that we are here, okay? Cool. Uh, right, okay, so WSO2 is um, the world's number one open source integration vendor. We are a fully open source uh, technology platform. Um, and we are also the sixth largest um, Apache committer and the largest, uh, seventh largest open source uh, in, uh, integration, right? So we've been in business um, for the last 14 years. We are a company that's headquartered out of Mountain View, California. And we have offices uh, in Berlin, uh, London, um, Brazil, Colombo, and Sydney, right? And we have regional uh, folks like from solution architecture to account management based uh, in different parts of the world. And uh, we have about close to about 400 engineers in our team right now uh, who spread across different uh, regions, okay? Yeah, so uh, WSO2 uh, started uh, very small, uh, and now, of course, we've grown into a company with about 620 uh, employees spread across nine different uh, uh, cities. Um, and right now, uh, in 2018, we did $38 million in revenue. Um, so we are a fairly small company, but we are kind of um, growing extremely fast, um, and we will have about 700, 800 people in our team by end of this year. Right now, we have customers in 65 different countries, uh, totally about 500 plus uh, globally, right? Okay, so WS2, like I said, is, a, is an open source integration platform. We have four main products. Of course, when we talk about our integration story, we always start with API management. And so API management is very important to us as a product and as a, uh, as a practice. Uh, so we have an uh, integration product which houses our ESB. Uh, we have an identity and access management solution uh, as well as uh, analytics uh, a stream processor, a real-time analytics product, right? Um, so if you want to know any, anything uh, additional about the products, even though we don't have anyone from our team right now, uh, we have Jagat who's seated at the back, um, who is a former WSO2 employee and also uh, currently working with one of our partners, Mitra Innovation, who's based out, based out of Sri Lanka. So he's the man if you want to understand uh, uh, API management uh, since we don't have anyone from our team today. So why API has management come, uh, come to light for us? Uh, within the last couple of um, months, uh, we've been uh, given a lot of, we've seen a lot of traction for our API management product. Um, as well as like globally, we are moving towards API driven uh, digital transformation practice. And then uh, as a result, we have been working very uh, seriously on this product for a long time now. And um, so uh, it's very rewarding when um, analysts like Forrester and Gartner um, started recognizing WSO2's API management to be top of the class. And, and WSO2 is w uh, investing a lot on this product to kind of uh, continue and put out more iterations of the product uh, within uh, the next couple of years, right? Like I said, Gartner. Okay, so why uh, why at uh, API Day? So API Day, of course, you know, uh, is the world's leading uh, API conference series, and uh, WSO2 decided to come on board as a platinum sponsor because, like I said, we are very serious about this, and this is another area that we see a lot of traction and a lot of uh, opportunities in, right? So that's why we are very serious about uh, API management, and um, so within the next two days, we have two main sessions. Um, one tomorrow and one day after. Uh, one is on, the first session is on managing API lifecycle with open source. We'll be talking a lot about uh, microservices, uh, open source uh, tech practice in general. We'll be talking about uh, different profiles of our uh, API management from security to, to um, marketplaces, things like that. 
And uh, session two is going to be very interesting. Um, it's another area that we are focusing a lot on at, uh, uh, in, in, in Asia right now, uh, open banking. Uh, and we do have an op uh, open banking product that, that sits on top of our product platform. Um, uh, so, so we'll be talking a lot uh, about the, API, uh, the, the, the trends in open banking in Asia and uh, what we've learned from our uh, implementations and customers in, in Europe. Uh, so what, something that we are encouraging this time around, especially if you are a financial institute, even if uh, you're on a non-regulated um, uh, region, a country, uh, it's still uh, a good time for you to kind of start looking at open banking. Um, I think there, there, are, um, there is regulation that's coming up in, in Australia. Phase one is completed on that. And then we, have, we are expecting something to happen in Singapore. Um, and there is uh, discussions in, in Hong Kong to have re open banking regulation. So if you are in a financial services industry, it's a good time to kind of start thinking about that. So then, uh, similarly, uh, we have two workshops. Um, these are some of the breakout sessions we have. Uh, one is based on API management um, in Istio. Uh, we'll be talking about the services mesh and, mesh and how WSO2 uh, API manager integrates with uh, Istio, right? Uh, then the, the second workshop will be a continuation of our open banking discussion where we talk, go into detail and talk about the product and how you can uh, implement open banking and how, how to kind of identify the opportunities for open banking uh, within a financial institute. So this is pretty much it, what I want to talk to you about. Obviously, sorry about not being very technical, because uh, I'm in the channel, so unfortunately they couldn't come. Um, but hopefully you'll see them tomorrow. Um, so yeah. OK, thank you very much. Good.